Hello and welcome to this presentation on Moist Wound Healing. This is one of a series of videos developed by WoundEducators.com in which we discuss and demonstrate different types of wound dressings. Moist wound healing is the name given to the observation that a wound that is kept optimally moist will have better outcome than one that is allowed to dry out. Studies have shown that a moist wound heals between three and five times faster than a dry wound. The idea of moist wound healing was first defined during the 1960s. During this time, early preclinical and clinical research conducted by British pioneer George D. Winter first demonstrated the benefit of a moist environment in optimizing wound healing. The concept of moist wound care really took off in the late 70s and 80s and an explosion in the number of innovative dressing products such as alginates, hydrogels, and foam was seen throughout the 1980s and early 90s. For the first time, dressings were starting to be considered an important and active part of the healing process. Our understanding of moist wound healing has come a long way since the days of the first research of Dr. Winter. We now understand why wound healing is promoted by a moist environment. This is due to several parallel processes. First, by preventing scab or crust formation over the wound bed, a moist wound environment eliminates the energy and time that would have been required for the body to break down these materials. Keratinocyte travel time and distance across the wound surface are also greatly reduced, as the cells are able to easily migrate across the moist wound bed rather than burrow underneath the wound bed to find a moist area upon which to move forward. A moist environment also traps enzymes within the wound bed, facilitating autolytic debridement. And finally, a moist wound environment preserves growth factors within the wound fluid and increases fibroblast proliferation and collagen synthesis. Before the days of moist wound healing, wound dressings were primarily used to protect the wound from secondary infection by forming a barrier against bacteria and absorbing wound fluid. With the greater understanding of moist wound healing came the imperative to develop newer and more innovative dressings that could actually help promote wound healing. Today's dressings fulfill all the functions of the earlier passive dressings, but also promote rapid healing, encourage vapor transmission, reduce pain, provide autolytic debridement, and act as a bacterial barrier. To learn more about moist wound healing and other key concepts in wound care, you may wish to consider becoming certified as a wound care specialist. The benefits of wound certification are immeasurable, both to your own career and to the standard of care that you can offer your patients. And because Medicare and other organizations are now holding healthcare professionals responsible for outcomes in wound care, there has never been a better time to become a wound care specialist. WoundEducators.com is dedicated to helping you take this all-important step in your career and to help you handle any type of wounds you may encounter in your daily practice.